Okay, stop real quick, social media marketers. There's two challenges you face in SMMA. Number one, getting clients, and number two, fulfillment. That's what stops 98% of the people from having success in SMMA. And so what I'm gonna do, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna show you a simple four-step process that I've been using the last six years to pull in six figures per year, literally part-time in SMMA like clockwork. We're gonna go over here to my whiteboard and I'm gonna show you guys exactly what you need to do if you're struggling to get clients and you're struggling to get those clients results. I'm gonna show you my four-step process. We're gonna go over here to my whiteboard and I'm gonna show you guys step-by-step -step on what I've been doing, okay, secretly over the last six years or so getting clients and getting clients results. A lot of you guys are on YouTube, you're struggling, you don't know what you're doing. SMMA is an excellent business to make anywhere from five to $10,000 a month, but you guys are still struggling. You're watching all the videos, you've been purchasing courses, and you still don't have clients. And one of the reasons why you don't have clients is you're afraid to get them because if you get them, you don't know how to get them results. Well, we're gonna go over this four-step process, and I'm gonna show you guys exactly what you need to do to get clients, to get them results, and to finally hit that $10,000 a month mark that you've always wanted to hit, but you're struggling, you're procrastinating, you're fearful, you don't know what to do, you need a guide, you need a mentor, and I'm gonna show you exactly what I've been doing and show you guys the solution to your problem. So let's go over to the whiteboard, watch the video all the way through. I'm gonna give you guys all this free content and it's gonna help you get to the next level. All right, let's go. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and go over my four-step process that has allowed me to literally go from zero to making $100,000 my first year in SMMA. And this is the four-step process that I follow, that my students follow, that I've always taught. In fact, if you look at these four steps, most multi-million dollar uh, companies, sales companies, they follow the same blueprint, okay? And if you guys wanna have success and make $100,000 plus a year in SMMA or you want to hit that magic number of 10k per month all you have to do is follow these four steps and we're going to go over these four steps in detail so that you guys can master this and so that you can move to where you are now to making ten thousand dollars a month and getting your first social media marketing process now if you guys need some need to go more in detail you guys actually want to watch over my shoulder i don't have enough time to kind of go through everything on this video but i'm going to give you the foundation but if you guys want my whole course and process click the link in the description you guys can sign up for the the new icp course that we just released uh, people are already getting clients they're having phenomenal results following this same uh, model in detail okay so you guys can pick up that course but but anyway starting off step one this is the most important thing, ladies and gentlemen, I just wanna put a little X right here, a little star by this one. This is important, prospecting, okay? The reason why most of you guys don't have clients is you're not prospecting, you're not doing the outreach, you're not doing the touches. <laughs> you gotta do the touches, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to make $10,000 per month, okay? or if you wanna pull in six figures, okay? SMMA is easily a six-figure business, and here's the reason why. You only need a handful of clients to make uh, $10,000 a month. You get five clients paying you two grand, ladies and gentlemen, you're already at six figures, okay? It's a powerful business. So if you're watching this video, you wanna learn how to do this, click the link in the description, you guys can grab the course. But it's a powerful business, powerful than Shopify, powerful than, you know, real estate and all the other stuff that people are getting into, Airbnbs and Amazon FBA. Social media marketing blows them out the waters because you, you, don't need, you only need a small learning curve and you can go from newbie to literally $10,000 a month in 30 to 60 days, okay? But the reason why people are struggling, they're not doing prospecting. And prospecting entails simple stuff cold calling okay you can send cold emails all right um, you can do Facebook 
You know, a lot of you guys are doing the looms and all the other stuff, uh, sending presentations, uh, sending audits and stuff like that. That's what I entail of prospecting. And you should be doing this a minimum of sending out two, a booking two to three uh, appointments per day, okay? Don't get that out of order, okay? Too many of you guys are inconsistent. If you're inconsistent in social media marketing, your income will be inconsistent. So if you want the money to continue to flow, you gotta be consistent with prospecting. Now here's the thing with prospecting, whether you're on the phone, you're sending out cold emails, all you're trying to do, you're not trying to sell them on step one, you're just trying to sell the appointment, okay? Write that down, you're just calling to book an appointment, okay? You just wanna book that appointment, ladies and gentlemen, that's all you're doing. You want to book an appointment, all right? You're not trying to sell them on the first one. It's kind of like if you're trying to date that, that girl or you're trying to get, date that guy, you're not trying to get them to marry you on the first interaction. <laughs> you're just trying to get them perhaps to go on a date with you first, <laughs> okay? And that's what we're trying to do, ladies and gentlemen, when we're calling business owners. And a lot of you guys are trying to go for the checkbook on day one. And if you go for the marriage on day one, the lady's gonna think you a creep and she's gonna block you and she's not gonna wanna spend any time with you, okay? Cause that's creepy to get married on the first day. I know they got those movies out or those TV shows out there, marriage at first sight, but those typically don't work. And it's the same thing with your prospecting. It typically doesn't work if you're trying to go for the gusto from the from 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 day one okay you don't want to do that okay out of all my years of doing this i may have had a couple of people where they were just in dire need of of, of digital marketing services and they they needed to sign up and then sometimes that happens but it's rare 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 that you're going to get somebody on the first swing okay so keep that in mind Prospect is number one. You can do Facebook. You can do cold calling, cold emails, looms. You can set up YouTube ads, Facebook ads. You can set up prospecting systems where you can attract clients to you. It all works. But my favorite, ladies and gentlemen, is grabbing my smartphone and calling business owners and booking two to three appointments a day. It's what I've done. It works. I do some of the other strategies. I can set up Facebook ads and attract clients, but there's nothing like cold calling. It builds your character. Um, it just takes you to the next level as a newbie. And so that's why I was able to do this because cold calling just builds your character. And a lot of you guys want to avoid cold calling, but it's the fastest way to get your clients. So if you guys want my, my process, or my scripts, my rebuttals and all that, click the link in the description. You guys can grab the ICP course and you guys can get all those goodies. Number two is you want to send them some information. This is powerful. This can be a uh, PDF. Um, it could be a, a recording, okay, a pre-recording. That's what I do. I send out a pre-recorded presentation, all right, to the business owner, uh, and they can watch it, okay? Now, if you guys are interested in the present, people are always asking, Maurice, what is your presentation? What is your presentation? It's a simple presentation of who I am, what I do, uh, how I can get the results in a nutshell. And anyone can design a simple presentation presentation, pre-recorded presentation on PowerPoint, or if you're on Mac, um, you can use your MacBook to, to uh, create a presentation, or you can pay somebody on Fiverr, or whatever the case may be. Um, I have put together a pre-recorded presentation that I offer to my students, and if you guys want that, click the link in the description. Um, you sign up for the ICP, you can get that as an as a added uh, uh, add on if you want to get it. Okay. But you just want to send them some information in most cases, folks, they're not going to watch it anyway. Okay. But in, if they do watch it, they're going to be pre sold It kind of pre sales them. Okay. It does the selling and kind of the hard lifting for you. Okay. So anyway, I send them some information. Okay. By email, I don't send them a package in the mail, but I send it by email. Let me just put email right here. So you guys know we send it by email. OK. And then once we send them the information, the next step is to follow up. Mr. Prospect, 
Did you get a chance to take a look at the at the uh, presentation? Now, here's what kills most of you guys. This step here, when you make cold calls, okay, and the business owner, one of two things, don't answer the phone or they don't watch your presentation. You get discouraged. Don't, okay? It's part of the process, okay? Sometimes I have to follow up with business owners four, five, six, seven times. Here's what I want to tell you. They're business owners. They're busy. They're not sitting around watching TV, waiting for your cold call. They're like, oh, man, I wonder if Maurice go call me. <laughs> They're not going to do that, ladies and gentlemen. They're out, you know, scrubbing carpets or building houses or cutting down trees or doing junk hauling or whatever niche you're in or you're calling dentists and attorneys. They're practicing, okay, their services. So they're not sitting around waiting for you to call them. They're busy. OK, so don't take it personal. This is why most people say cold calling don't work is because they'll follow up or on the initial thing they may get on the initial prospecting call. They may get five no's. And if you get five no's, you assume it doesn't work. It is working. You're supposed to go through the no's. It's part of the process. All right. So don't get discouraged if you call and they don't answer or. OK, they haven't watched your presentation. So you just give them another swing at it. Sometimes you got to give them two or three swings at it. All right. Before they finally get a chance to sit down and watch your presentation. Now, even if they don't watch your presentation, ladies and gentlemen, that moves up, to, moves us to step four. OK, and that's the close. OK, now this is the most scary part for most newbies. This is, oh, Marie, how do I, you know, say what do I say on the close? You get so nervous. Here's the thing. If you go through the prospecting process right, OK, you ask the right questions, ladies and gentlemen. The close to me is actually the easiest thing about getting clients because I have 10 questions, OK, that I ask all of my clients and through the process of asking questions, OK, I'm not selling no one. I'm looking for those that are looking for me. I'm not here to twist nobody's arm and do karate to make them sign up for my social media marketing services. I'm not trying to do that, ladies and gentlemen. I'm looking for those that are looking for me. OK, what do I mean? They're open to taking their business, their product or service to the Internet, because that's what I'm going to do. I do digital marketing services, whether it's Facebook, Google, uh, Bing, uh, Facebook ads, YouTube ads, whatever it is, I can do that for them. So I'm looking for open minded businesses. And if they have a need, I'm going to find out in the close. All right, because I'm going to ask these 10 questions. They're very important. And if you ask those, the close is simple. All right. Now, I do include those 10 questions in the ICP course. So if you guys want those 10 questions that I ask, you guys can click the link in the description and you guys can grab the course. All right. But anyway, the close is the simplest part. When you got these questions, you just ask them and then you, hey, this is what I charge. We can go ahead and get you set up. This is a setup fee that we charge. And that leads me to the next thing. Typically. OK, now. What I've done in the ICP, we have a, 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 a different way of charging. We actually charge per lead and it's absolutely phenomenal. So you can easily make a minimum of two thousand dollars per month per client. OK, actually over a thousand. OK, now this strategy I'm only giving out in the ICP, but it's phenomenal. But you'll be able to get a minimum of two thousand dollars per client. All right. And now here's the thing. This is another thing that's stopping you guys is fulfillment. OK, Maurice, I don't have fulfillment, so that's why I don't want to prospect. Once again, this is another easy one is the fulfillment. There's two things you got to do once you go through this. And here's what you want to do, ladies and gentlemen. You got to master this. You got to master prospecting. OK, master prospecting means this. You don't try to send a cold email one day and don't get nobody and quit. You don't pick up the phone one day of cold calling and say it doesn't work and quit. You got to master this. Think about this for one second, ladies and gentlemen. If you mastered this for six months, most people go to school for four years. I'm just saying dedicate your life to this process. Get the courses, 
hire a coach, read the books, take in the, the positive information, okay? Learning how to sell and all the, all the stuff, Zig Ziglar, reading books by Zig Ziglar or whatever, okay? Brian Tracy, master this stuff, okay? If you master this stuff, ladies and gentlemen, wouldn't it be worth it to master this for six months to make a hundred grand, quit your job, live a phenomenal lifestyle? Wouldn't it be uh, uh, of, of value to you, ladies and gentlemen, to take a little bit of your hard-earned money to get the course that you need to help you make $100,000? Think about it. We waste money on snacks and food and clothes and entertainment. But when it comes to investing a measly $4,000, okay, on our personal development, okay, we don't want to do it. We say we can't afford it. But when it comes to going to McDonald's and Netflix, we can afford that. <laughs> but when it comes to getting rich, we can't afford it. And that's the reason why we're broke is because we won't do the things to make us rich. Write that one down. The reason why we're broke or we don't have money is you're not willing to do the things that it takes to get money so that you won't be broke. And that's what I'm teaching you. So here's what's happening. Most of you guys let fulfillment stop you. Well, the reason why I won't get a client because I don't know how to fulfill. Well, today we're going to end that, that madness, okay? We're going to end that phobia, okay? You master this first, okay? Then, when you, once you have a client, then you focus on fulfillment. When do you call for a plumber? Before you got a problem or when you got a problem? How many of us have called a plumber, plumber just for the heck of it? We don't do that. The only time we go to Google to type in we need a plumber because a toilet's plugged or the sink's leaking or the tub's leaking is when we got a plumbing issue. A lot of you guys want client fulfillment problems before you get a client. Get a client first. <laughs> get a client first. Then worry about fulfillment. Fulfillment's easy because here's the thing. When it comes to finding a plumber, there's thousands of plumbers out there, professional plumbers, and it's the same thing with fulfillment. There's thousands of professional Facebook, Google ads people out there that are happily take your clients and get them results, okay? So it's two things. Once you get a client, then you focus on fulfillment. Don't put the cart before the horse. This is what's stopping a lot of you guys. Murray, I don't want to get a client because I don't know how to do Facebook ads. There's two things, fulfillment. Two choices. There's only two choices here. You're going to outsource it or you're going to do it yourself. Outsource it or do it yourself. Outsource it or do it yourself. Outsource it or do it yourself. <laughs> the choice is yours. Now, I recommend you guys outsource it first because that allows you to, to go through this process over and over. And if you go through this process, step one, step two, step three, step four, you should be doing this every day you know revolving step one step two step three step four that's what you should be focusing on 98 percent of your time okay 98 percent of your time should be spent here on prospecting getting clients all right so now if you if you do decide to go with you know do it yourself then you're gonna have to break your time up a little bit and you really don't want to do that so that's why i say start with outsourcing first maybe get your first you know, one to 10 clients, you know what I mean? Or one to five. And then if you want to play with one, you could do that. But this is going to allow you to scale. Okay. You can do this is, you can do one to 10 clients yourself. You can manage them. If you know how to run Facebook and Google ads, you can do this on your own. Okay. But once you get past 10 clients, you're going to need an outsourcer. Okay. Once you get past, let's say 11 to 25 clients, Ladies and gentlemen, you can't do those yourself. You can, but you're going to be overwhelmed. You're not going to have time to prospect, and you're just going to be a mess. You want your agency to provide freedom, and so that's what I'm saying. You want to outsource, and then I'll eventually show you guys my, prospect, my process on uh, how to hire virtual assistants to do the cold calling, how to hire sales reps. I know how to do all that. I've done it, and I'm very successful with that, but we'll talk about that later. But as of right now, you got two choices. Now, how do you find an outsource? This is simple. You just go to Fiverr, you can go to Upworks. They got so many outsourcing sites out there that you can go to to find people that'll set Facebook and Google ads up. Ladies and gentlemen, that's the process, simple, okay? So I hope I was able to help a lot of you guys that have been pulling your hair out on fulfillment. It's simple. How do you get clients? You go through my four 
steps. And if you guys want the four step process and detail where I actually took seven days, signed up three clients, click the link in the description. You guys can grab the ICP. Let's go over this and recap. Number one, we prospect. How do we prospect? Simple. Facebook, if you guys want to reach out to business owners on Facebook, you can even do LinkedIn. Okay, cold calling, cold emails, looms, or what have you. You want to do audits and send the videos to the business owners, you can do that. Should be doing at a minimum of two to three appointments a day. Getting them to look at the information, say, hey, I'll follow with you today or tomorrow. That's what I mean by prospecting. We're just trying to get an appointment. We're not trying to do the sale on the first call. Step two, we want to send them information. Send them a pre-recorded presentation and or a PDF. If you want to put together a simple PDF, just outlining what you do, who you are, and how social media marketing can generate them phone calls and customers. Make sure you understand that. All they understand is phone calls and customers. Don't be talking about Google and Facebook. Talk about more phone calls and customers and making them money. That's all a business owner hears is those three things. Phone calls, customers, and more money to their bottom line. That's the language of a business owner. I know it because I talk it to them and they hand me money when I talk their language. You start talking about Google, Facebook, Instagram, it goes over most of their head. They heard about it. They know it's something they do, but it kind of goes over their head because a plumber, Joe Bo Plumber, is just focusing on fixing sinks, not doing AdWords or, or Facebook, okay? So send them information, follow up, okay? Fortune in the follow-up. A lot of you guys follow up with two times and then that's it. Follow up a hundred times, follow up until they say yes or no, until they buy. Okay, that's the rule of engagement for follow-up. There's fortune in the follow-up. 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 Don't get that out of order. And then lastly, the close. Okay. I people say, Maurice, how do you close? Ask questions. I ask 10 questions or more, okay? And then I tell them my price and then we do business. That's it. And remember, I'm not, I, I'm looking for those that are looking for me. So they're in the market. When, when I'm talking to people, I'm talking to what we call qualified prospects. I'm not talking to suspects. Suspects don't buy. I don't care what you say to a suspect, he's not going to hand you no money. He's a suspect. In other words, he's not in the market. You can't sell nobody a house that's not in the market for a house. <laughs> you guys get that? You can't sell somebody a house that's not in the market to buy a house unless you're selling it ridiculously cheap. And it's an a, 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 a irresistible offer, okay? All right, and those are, like I said, those are suspects. Those are hard to sell individuals, okay? We don't want that. We want people that are in the market for SMMA services. How do you find that out? Through your prospecting. You'll know, and when you say the right things, they're gonna be there, okay? And those are easy to close, and even for you new guys, that's what you want. And in my course, I show you guys how to do that, okay? And then lastly, the fulfillment. You gotta make a choice. Do you wanna outsource? You go to Fiverr, uh, Upworks, or whatnot. You can find top-rated people to set up Facebook, Google ads for you, or you can do it yourself. How do you do it yourself? Go right to the home of YouTube and type in uh, Facebook ads tutorial, Google ads tutorial, phenomenal, okay? I've even went through some of them. And then buy them, buy the courses. That's all you have to do. Self-education will make you a fortune. Okay, formal education will make you a living. Self-education will make you rich. And that's what happened to me, okay? So hope this uh, presentation or this training, ladies and gentlemen, has been of immense value to you. If you guys like it, make sure you subscribe, hit the thumbs up, comment below. Let me know what you guys thought. I hope I gave you guys complete clarity. This is how you set up a $100,000 a year agency, following these steps and just understanding what you need to do. Um, if you guys need help, click the link in the description. You guys can sign up for coaching. Um, I do one-on-one -on -one to help you guys get to the next level. Uh, and then also too, ladies and gentlemen, if you want this whole system, a whole four-step process, you wanna model what I've done, and you wanna see me actually sign up a, uh, set up a new agency from scratch, no clients, no brand, you know, no agency, just start over. Sign up for the ICP, it's a phenomenal course. And I took seven days to do this in the midst of a pandemic. If I had no money, no clients, nothing, no agency, what would I do? And I actually send this out in seven days to you each day that I uh, create it or what I would do over the seven days. And I send all the videos to you. And then I also do a case study where 
I sign up three clients in seven days. Phenomenal stuff. Okay, so click the link in the description if you guys want that. If not, I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.